Hey, friends, we're going to start this new exciting project on our grocery bag. Hopefully you all got one with your supplies in it. This is a super fun project and I'll have another video with some samples on it later on. But I'm sharing this document with you and this exciting and thrilling video on how to approach working on art on a bag. So when we start doing this project, we want to think about abstraction and creating recognizable imagery using the elements and principles of design, emphasis on line, shape, pattern, repetition, color, balance, and movement. Remember, we just spent some quality time looking at all the elements and principles of art and design. Our learning targets are that we can identify the elements of art and design, and we can identify the principles of art and design, and that you understand that the elements and principles are interrelated, and that you can use 2D material to create varieties of artwork. So again, you all have this lovely handout, and uh, just as a guide, I have a two videos attached on color theory and the basic elements shade value color edge video. Both of them should be very helpful. The materials that you're going to be using for this project are a grocery bag, pencils, sharpies, markers, color pencils, crayons, watercolors, whatever materials you have, your choice of medium. So step one is today or Friday. Um, first you're going to take apart your grocery bag and select which section you like best to do your drawing on. You may scissors or tear the paper. Feel free to get creative on this one. It doesn't have to be the same section of bag. Use whatever section you want to do, but it should be um, rather large. It shouldn't be just a side single pa um, panel. If you want to do the whole bag, go for it. The next thing you're going to do is step two. You're going to draw an organic line in the middle of the page. The line must have thin and thick areas. So you can see here on my drawing or my photograph, let's see if we can increase that, I have done a line with thick and thin, and I've also framed it. Step three is to draw borders, a border, and within the border, create a repetitious pattern. Use complementary colors. And remember, complementary colors are colors that are across from the color wheel. So what I've done on mine is I've started with blue, and then I will add orange. Those are across from each other on the color wheel. Step four. I want you to take a pair of scissors and trim the edges. You can either follow the pattern that you've created or do your own. Step five, I want you to divide the middle of uh, divide the middle into four sections. Do it any way you like, but try to make them somewhat equal. In step six. In each section, you've create one reasonable, or excuse me, in each section, create one recognizable image and create a pattern around it. So you can see here I did a face and then I did this kind of repetitious square shapes. And then you go on and then I did this recognizable skull with the patterns. And then I continued on, and you can't really see it the, what, the best, but I did this fish in here. And then on this last section, I did a kind of side view of a girl. So you can see there is the finished product. Now, we are going to be spending um, four days on this project, maybe five. Um, and each day you are going to upload your in-progress image of where you're at. And this should be a really fun project to do. But remember, 
that we want to, oops, making you all dizzy here. We want to keep in mind our learning targets that we can identify the elements of art and design and the principles of art and design. You understand that they are related to each other and that you can use 2D material to create um, to create a variety of artworks. Because this is a challenging um, situation that we're all in that I can't be there to guide you. I really want you to, I encourage you to email me with your progress pictures or questions. And I really hope that you enjoy this project. And my son Harrison did this project as well at home. And I will post his images as well. All right, that's all I have for uh, today. And I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.